What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I went sneaker shopping in Harlem on 125th Street and the first place I stopped was the foot action and I've got to say, this foot action was pretty great and I think that's a theme that you'll notice throughout the entire video. Every sneaker store in Harlem had like some really interesting surprises which kind of blew me away. But uh, I mean the first thing we saw were these Air Maxes right here, not too bad. Of course the Air Max 270s which I just reviewed recently which you guys should check out. A pair of shoes that I'm actually really excited about, I think they look great. Next up they had the SF AF1 Highs, this sort of new cut of the shoe, except this time around it had this sort of like paper or like recycled material feel to it, which I thought was really interesting. I also really like this colorway too because, I don't know, the other ones were just a little too much, but this one seems really nice and really subtle. Not a shoe that I really need in my collection, but overall not a bad looking shoe for sure. The bottoms are a little dirty though. Next up was the Air Monies, and these look pretty nice. Um, I think this colorway is my favorite. The white red ones don't really do it for me. You also had the Rockefeller Air Force One Lows, which is kind of a surprise to see sitting, but I mean, obviously this pair's been here for a while because it's so dirty and people just keep picking it up. Not a bad looking shoe though. You always gotta check out the Nike basketball section. There's always some pretty solid stuff here. Of course, the Graffiti LeBron 15s, which might be in the running for one of my favorite colorways of the LeBron 15 because I really like the sort of more simple and clean colorways. That gray colorway is also not bad either. And Jordan Wall was where there was actually a couple surprises. Of course, as you saw when we were going down, the Chinese New Year's were there. You also had this one right here, the Bread 13s, which is a shoe that I still haven't picked up yet. I probably should. I mean, this is just such a great, classic, clean colorway that I really need to get in my collection for sure. They also had the Wheat 6s, and of course, here again are the Chinese New Year 6s, which is a shoe that I reviewed back at this Jordan Brand event. A shoe that when it dropped, I just decided against it because it was a little bit pricey, and it's not something I could really wear too often, although it's not a bad shoe. This is another surprise, the Equality Ones that dropped back in February. This shoe actually sold out online and I went looking for it the day that it dropped and I couldn't find it and now for some reason it's sitting up in Harlem. It's a pretty nice looking sneaker, it's got this sort of split look with the white and black. And then of course you had the, the fake out Air Jordan 1 Royals which are a mid-top version of the shoe. They're sort of almost the royal colorway, the black area is actually not black, it's sort of a dark navy so it's not exactly the Royals. Next up we went to the Adidas section which had its own storefront but it was still part of the same store which I thought was kind of interesting. There was actually a huge amount of stuff on sale, you got NMDs, you've got City Socks, you've got Ultra Boost, all sorts of crazy stuff. Of course these EQT 9317s which I think were going for about $100 which is not a bad price for this shoe. I uh, might actually pick up a pair because I heard that there was some on the Foot Locker and 34th Street going for like $70 which I might actually run over there and grab. But they had the Gore-Tex NMD City Sock Highs and the City Sock 1s are my favorite out of the two versions of the shoe. I think they just look cleaner. Of course we found some Nikes that matched Tom's entire outfit. It was kind of crazy. The thing with Ultra Boost is now they've really sort of flooded the market so you do have really nice colorways like those maroon ones and the triple blacks and these multicolors right here just sitting and even going on sale which is kind of crazy for me to see. They also had the Boost You Wear Level 1s which is a pretty solid shoe. They didn't have any of the other colorways, just that black one but still a nice looking sneaker. Next we hit up the flagship House of Hoops on 125th Street. This store was pretty incredible to see because I'd heard a lot about it but I'd never actually been inside. They had a lot of great sneakers from the past, I think some of my favorite, you'll see in a second, the Galaxy Foam Posits. Those are fire, and of course the Supreme Foam Pods is from 2014, a shoe that I used to do a lot of customs, not on, but of. Um, and then this was the rest of the store, they actually had this signed Rockefeller wall right there with a lot of different signatures on it. I'm not sure if there was just people who were there when the store opened or if it's actually people from that record company. I have no idea, I just think it looks really cool. Then they had the Just Dawn Air Force One Highs, another sneaker that I really like, and it's also surprisingly heavy. I didn't realize it was this heavy even though I'd seen the shoe before. They also had these foam posits with the replaceable Nike checks. An interesting concept, um, a little boring in my opinion, but still a cool shoe. Next up we hit up the Nike basketball, I guess Air Force One wall, and I found these LeBron ones sitting in the wheat colorway. As much as I like the shoe, the colorway is just not really something I love on this sneaker, and it's definitely not a shoe that I ever plan on picking up. But if you like the shoe, good for you, I think it's not a bad looking shoe overall. Next I hit up the Jordan wall, which of course in the House of Hoops you gotta hit up the Jordan section. They had some pretty decent stuff, like they had the Equality sitting, the Chinese New Year's, they also had some pretty insane Jordans sitting, like these Bordeaux Fives, which they are a really great shoe. They're way overpriced at $400, but they're definitely a clean looking sneaker, something that I would pick up if I ever found it for like under $200. Next up, we hit up Jimmy Jazz on the same street on 125th. In fact, I think every store we hit up was on 125th. But Jimmy Jazz is a pretty excellent sneaker store. There's a couple all throughout New York. It's not one I frequent, but it's one that I definitely respect and I like. 
Their Jordan section was pretty impressive, and you'll see in a second why. They actually had a lot of really crazy older stuff sitting, and I don't know if it was a, like a restock that just never sold out, or it was just sneakers that they've literally had for that long, which I kind of doubt. Um, I mean, they got the Marvin the Martians. I, I'm just really surprised to see those anywhere. They also had these premium Wheat 4s, which was kind of insane to see because I've only ever seen them online, and I think they sold out. Um, in fact, I know they sold out, but uh, definitely a clean looking sneaker, and I think that this shoe was actually on sale. It retailed originally for $400, but it was selling for $299 or $100 cheaper, so again, kind of a surprise to see sitting. They also had the UNC 11 Lows, which is another clean sneaker that gets really destroyed when it's on display because people keep touching it and it turns brown. I know it's a weird comment. But here's the Bulls over Broadway 10s, and this is a shoe that I think released back in like 2014, 2015. I don't remember when. I think it was for All-Star Weekend. I could be wrong but a shoe that I just really didn't expect to be sitting there. Next up, we hit up the Atmos store, and honestly, the reason I hit this store up is because I heard that they still had some of the animal pack left over. They didn't, unfortunately, but it was cool to see this store for the first time. Another shoe that I saw that they had that I kind of dig is these camo dunk lows, and I've never really been into dunks, but these actually look pretty clean. If I skated, I think they'd be awesome to rock. They had a pretty decent selection of Air Maxes, as you'd expect. A lot of stuff that you see around sometimes, but not a lot of places. And then the last place we hit up was Champs, and this is where it got a little crazy. They had the Derek Jeter 1s. And I tried to grab a pair of these for myself. They literally did not have anything close to a size 9. I think the smallest size I had was an 11. Tom ended up picking up a pair in a size 12. I'm really jealous. But that pretty much wraps it up for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me on all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.